Hello and welcome along and welcome back to the old stream farm. We are doing a little bit of work this morning in the yard. We've got uh, some, well, we've got one more trailer of water to deliver. I've given two trailers of water each to our greenhouses to get them up and running again. And you can see this one here. We've now got 12,000 litres of water in. 12,000 litres of water and then this one will shortly have 12,000 litres of water and we're very much sort of in full wrap-up mode at the moment we're uh maybe a month or so away from getting the vines harvested for the last time so we've got that to uh to look forward to but we've got two fields that are come up or have come up for contract uh, very near our farm they're just the other side of uh, the yard here field seven and nine so what we're gonna do is we'll just drop this water trailer off and uh, yeah i'm gonna park this up into the shed and we're gonna head up to the shop and we're gonna go and get those sorts we'll probably get one harvester across the two of them uh if we can we may get some extra feed for the chickens out of this so uh yeah let's head to the shop so let's go have a word up here and see what we've got contract wise available to us so still lots of bailing contracts we could make a fortune working our way through bailing contracts at the moment but we've also got quite a lot of harvesting contracts. Now, they're not worth a huge amount of money. Field 7 is worth 1,300 and we'll lose 209 from that. I think contract-wise, I'm going to go for this one. We're going we're gonna to borrow the items for Field 35 and then we're going to take on Field uh, 7 and Field 9. So that should give us a combine for a cheap amount of money. Uh, followed by two other uh the two other contracts and we can just hold on to field 35 so that we can keep this piece of equipment i don't think we need the header trailer it's a very small header on this and we should be able to get around the map with this just attached to the front and then we'll grab our kubota for behind this is actually a really good little setup this is a great little m6 and that that russell mash combine i like a lot as a, a little modern combine to have kicking around it works really really well follow the russell mash and away we go we'll get this back down to our farm and the fields we're going to be working today are these two over here so field seven is just the other side of our vines here and field nine is the other side of the tree line start this up Want to make sure the straw swath is turned off. Disable that. Looking at how many trees we have around here, we want to keep our auger into the field for now for our first headland. And it looks like with our turning circle and everything, we're going to want probably uh, three or four headlands. It might take a little bit off this field to do that but uh, it'll be worth it and this in here this is the wheat so this is what we want to put straight into our animal feed when we have some left over at the end and it's going to be very much making sure that we keep a close eye on that correctly getting what we need out of it and what i do need to do is stop this hired worker here sitting on the field while we head round and get this field cut you can see why you'd want the auger in to the field on a field like this. The amount of tree branches and things like that we've got hitting the combine at the moment is huge. And you, you'd really, really want to avoid getting any dents in that auger at all. Otherwise, you're going to have real problems getting the grain out of the uh, grain tank. We're already halfway full off the first uh, headland on here, so... We're not going to make it all the way back round when we come to do the second headland. And it's always, I'm always a little bit unsure as exactly how I want to go with this. Whether it's worth parking the tractor in one place and emptying on a regular basis. 
or whether I want to get the combine full and then just go and grab the tractor and trailer and empty it. It's it's one of those things that's that's always a little bit unsure which is the best way to go for me. What I'm gonna do though is we are up to 68% full. So yeah, best bet I think for us is gonna be to uh empty out here let's switch over to here get the auger out then we will turn the combine off and we're not using the combine experience mod on here mainly because we've done so little harvesting on here that i've not really felt the need to do it so yeah we'll leave the tractor here and uh and we'll empty so we might as well turn the tractor off as well and then we can just get on with cutting at the rest of the field once this is emptied now, this is a, something that we've failed to do sort of over the first two years, three years on this map. Uh, is get a couple of harvests in on our contracts just to give us a little bit of excess. Uh, make sure we've got some feed for our chickens and keep that all going. Quite happy that we've managed to do that this year. The other thing we're doing at the moment and, and the other reason why I've taken on a couple of contracts this late in the series uh, is because we need to give time A for our crops to grow from for our vines to grow and also for the last few raisins to do. And I didn't want to rush it too much getting into that it made sense to grab this now seeing as we finally have a few harvesting contracts available to us on here and uh, it gives us another view of the farm as well i mean we haven't had much of a, a view of our vineyards and everything from this angle and i think it's fairly spectacular from over here we can really get to see down over the farm and all of the changes we've made and uh, and how actually i think it really fits with uh, with what we've done on here as i said i'm amazed at how much we achieved with so little land and having bought uh so few fields we've i don't think i've ever played a map where i've done it like this where i've uh, i've downsized the farm and as a result ended up with a whole load of extra fields uh, for me to play with uh, it just yeah worked out really really well now i think we want one more headland so we're going to get the auger out empty out what we've got in here again we're up to 60 percent but it just means we don't have to take the tractor anywhere and then we're going to go around the field for one more cut uh, at that point i might have to move the tractor onto the road because we're then going to cut in down the longest edge of here and uh get the rest of this out i'm hoping well actually how much do we need to deliver for this so field seven yeah field seven is the one that we're on we need to deliver thirteen thousand liters and how much do we currently have in our trailer uh we currently have six thousand liters so we've got uh, about the same to go again so about a tank and a half left to get off here to complete this contract not bad i get a lot of people asking me what uh, the mod is that allows me to see how uh, how much uh, i have left to deliver for a given contract um, and that is the better contracts mod. Uh, it is really, really useful for that kind of information. Highly recommend it. Uh, go grab it off the mod hub if you want to be able to, to keep a closer eye on your contracts. There's lots of aspects to it I don't use and I am still learning about it. Uh, I mean, last night in, uh, in my last night's live, live stream uh, on the Realism Experiment, uh, got given a load of information about how you can control what equipment you get given for contracts with that mod as well uh means i should be able to prevent that class zerion turning up again for any bailing contract so uh yeah it's a really powerful mod well worth checking out it would have been really nice if these two fields had both been wheat uh we'd, we'd made a little bit of extra cash 
uh, I think if that had been the case and well a little bit of extra cash I'd say that I'd, we'd, have, we'd have had more stuff to feed our chickens than I think we're going to end up with as it is we can store the barley and use that for chicken feed as well so uh, I'm not too worried about that uh, I'm not going to do my conventional cuttings here the, the shape of this field is uh, not great for that so we're going to do just really uh, cutting up the edges here and then spinning around and going back the other way especially seeing as we're emptying out the uh, into the trailer on a fairly regular basis it should mean that we keep things nice and easy for us to, to keep going yeah it's a little bit of an odd shaped field i don't want to go in the direction that it's been planted because it's been planted up and down the slope and that just puts extra strain on the combine so we're going to avoid doing that by uh continually turning and uh going across the slope and working our way across the slope it should mean that uh things are a little bit easier see i missed a bit back there and on a field this size every little bit we miss we want to make sure we get now this is probably the longest strip on the field and i'm into the last 10 percent of space in my grain tank are we gonna have enough space to get the whole way down here this is no no it's not gonna happen there we go so yeah that's when it doesn't quite work out it's all right though because what we can do is go and empty this out and uh, and then come back and uh, finish that off but yeah i pushed it too far and we ended up without enough space to make it the whole way back down the road unfortunately what it does do if is, is give me the opportunity to go and grab this little patch here that i missed and then we can turn around and head back i can't believe the stones on this field this is this is not a well-maintained field and i am very very pleased it's not my combine that's having to deal with these stones that is going to uh hit the wear and tear of the header especially on this pretty hard i think we're up to eleven thousand two hundred and eleven liters in the trailer uh we've got another two thousand liters here well nearly uh which means we have enough crop now to complete this contract uh, without having to actually harvest anything more off this field uh, which is great news because that is going to give us a nice little amount to give to our chickens and get them all topped up and that's before we even start on cutting the barley in the next door field now i need to work out where we're going to be delivering this wheat to so that we can head over there get that done before we can go and cut into field nine and yeah the reason for choosing field seven and nine is because they are right next door to each other so it's a very quick turnaround moving from one field to the other and look at that perfect whip on the last row and we just clean that up nicely this is a great little combine for this field i am uh very very happy with it and 2800 liters so i'm expecting us to maybe have a thousand liters of feed for our chickens off here not a huge amount but enough for us to uh keep them going for a while they've got a the fair amount of feed already but this is this is what i wanted to be doing really while we were waiting for the vines to grow over the summer for most of this series um, which is why again why i really wanted to do it in this video because this was this demonstrates really where i wanted to go with this over the summer when you've got all the vines prepared you've got nothing else really to do on your farm what better time to go and do a load of harvesting contracts and get free feed for your animals our destination for the first 
field is the GCHB grain elevator up here. Uh, we've got no entry signs on this end of it. So I want to come in this way here. There we go. Over the weighing station. And then I think it's in around here somewhere. Yeah, there we are. So down this side here. Over and in. And then just stop. And I think we are tip side side at the moment. Now we need to be careful. We need we know we need maximum of thirteen hundred uh, thirteen thousand liters. It's not going to take that much. So we're gonna stop it with about two thousand liters left. I'm waiting for it to empty and nine eight seven six five four three stop 79 percent 83 whoa damn i messed up i was pressing the button so much that i managed to sell it all never mind 650 pound in harvest income that's the that's why i actually don't like to uh put everything in there because yeah you can mess up like that ah oh, that's not good that was not what i wanted to do at all okay after that abject failure to uh to get done what i wanted to we're back down here with the uh Kubota. field nine looks to be maybe slightly larger so let's start up our combine again and uh we're gonna try this see if we can actually get some barley to feed our chickens this time oh i can't believe i was pressing the button so much that i managed to get it just wrong and it emptied and, and uh, dealing with so little that we just managed to empty it all out by mistake that is supremely annoying I took a quick look at how much the feed costs for the chickens. So how much a thousand liters of wheat to feed the chickens is. 1,400 pounds. So we have uh, wasted or oh, we've lost on that uh, 750 pounds to have to buy uh, a thousand liters of chicken feed really really annoying that um has given me an idea though for a way to uh do things with contracts and get a lot of feed for your chickens without having to pay uh, a large amount for the bags and basically what i'm thinking is do the contract uh, get all of the crop, put all the crop in the grain store, and then buy the crop off the uh, off the farmer, off the contractor. Now, what you what I mean by that is, uh, <clears throat> once you've got all the crop, cancel the contract. You will get charged for all the crop that you have, but importantly, you'll get charged less than if you went and did. And then if you went and bought the feed separately uh it's still fairly realistic you're still paying the farmer for their crop and you're paying them the price that they would have got for their crop and uh, you get the feed at a price that is a lot less so you're still having to put in the work to get it i quite like it as a uh well not only a realistic setup but um it's not really very cheaty because you're still having to pay money out for stuff. Uh, what do you think? Do you think that that's a, a, a good way to go? Uh, a good use of contracts? Uh, let me know in the comments. I am uh, I quite like that as an early game idea uh, to pay a farmer for the contract crops and, uh, yeah, and get some animal feed for sheep. This time I managed to lose track of how full my combine was and I've ended up at the top end of the field needing to empty it. So we'll head up here and get this emptied out. That's 
are working fairly well. I think this field we're probably going to end up going uh, on shorter uh, runs across the field. So uh, going in this direction, it is very much a, a, a more regularly shaped field. Uh, but the slope of it, you can see, goes down this way. So I don't really want to be going up and down. Plus, the uh, the way the field's shaped, it does lend itself more to doing it that way. I think I can get back in the combine and start her up. Just going to move forward a little bit. Lots of stones again on this field. Uh, really, really not very well maintained. And as a result, it's... Uh, going to be doing a fair amount of damage i don't think it looks to me like damage isn't done to equipment that is uh is hired as part of a, a contract i can't i can't see any wear and tear happening to this at the moment uh, what happens if i switch over to the main body of the combine yeah it's not really dropped at all despite the fact that we have got a lot of stones on here so uh that's something to look at i, I, I do wonder if wear and tear is something that affects contract equipment um because if it doesn't that brings a whole other idea in for uh ways that you can uh, use contract equipment that that means that you end up not having to spend so much on your own farm and now with the headlands done we cut into the field perfect let's grab this round here and um we're already a third full on this tank just coming down this headland and doing this cutting so it's a fairly good yield off of this barley it's giving us a good a, a good amount that we're we're filling up fairly quickly how much do we need for this contract uh for this one we need fourteen thousand five hundred liters so i'm going to well, this is the thing no no i am going to complete this contract properly um as i said i do want your guys uh thoughts on this whether it's uh whether holding on to all this crop and then uh paying the farmer for it so that we have a whole load of feed for the chickens is a good way to go i'm uh, i'm intrigued by that because i think it might be a, a quite a good way as i said to get a whole load of feed that isn't quite so expensive and that isn't overly cheaty because we're still having to do work to get it uh we still uh we'd, we'd end up with enough money that's a good point actually we we wouldn't end up with enough money to buy as much uh feed as we're we're getting off of here so yeah i don't know i'm uh I'm very much thinking doing that with one small field, getting yourself a whole load of feed for your chickens or, or your cows, if it's a grass field or anything like that. You know, is that a good way to go? It, it very possibly is. Now, this load from our combine should bring us very close to the amount that we need to deliver for this field. What I want to go and do is go and check how much we have in our trailer. We've got four and a half thousand in our combine. In our tractor, we've got eight thousand uh, eight hundred and thirty nine. So let's uh, get some more cuts into here. Eight thousand eight hundred and forty nine. I think we're going to need a full tank off here. I mean, we're ninety two percent full so that will take us up to uh, about thirteen thousand. so we will get the exact amount out of this combine or the exact amount in the combine then when we come to empty the next time that will uh, that will give us the fourteen and a half thousand liters we need that's slightly more than we are actually going to need and we know that we've encountered that a few times 4,900, I think, is... Yep, yeah, is the full tank. Let's go get the tractor and trailer. Empty this out, and we'll see where that leaves us. I think it should leave us about 13 and a half. 
thousand liters maybe 13.7 though actually that might be enough to complete this contract that very much might be enough to complete this contract so i think we'll go and give that a try if we're lucky it'll be about right where's this got to go this needs to go to the grain mill now that is down here i believe somewhere is that it uh no that's the animal dealer that is the grain mill so yeah we need to wow go most of the way down the map but this road here and then just a straight shot should do us fairly well and yes this is going to be thirteen thousand seven hundred and thirty nine let's go try it we might end up being just a few hundred liters short uh but it might also complete this contract now one thing this may not complete this straight away we haven't finished harvesting the field and so there's a good chance that we haven't harvested enough of the fields to complete the contract and this may be all the grain we need to deliver let's drop this in then and uh, and see how this does as i said this should be enough i think to complete the contract overall uh we'll find out in a moment though and this way i don't make the mistake 93 percent transported let's have a look in here uh it says it needs 700 liters it doesn't uh 700 liters definitely is not needed to complete this uh that would take it up to 14,400. so yeah i can't i can't believe that it would be that much uh let's head back to the field let's get the rest of it harvested and see if the contract completes once the rest of the crop is up so i'm going to put 700 liters into the trailer the idea here is that if the contract doesn't complete there we go 699 that will do it uh if the contract doesn't complete by the time uh we finish the field then what we can do is just go and dump the 700 liters it says it needs into the grain mill and everything else that we harvest off this field will be able to keep for ourselves so there's the 700 liters it says it is short let's get the rest of this field knocked out and we'll see where we are the last section of this field i'm gonna go up and down on it is such an odd shape that it just makes sense for us to uh to do it this way otherwise we're just going to be spending all of our time we're spending more of our time turning to get the little bits than we are going to actually be harvesting so that doesn't make a lot of sense to me so we'll just cut this last little bit like this it looks like we're gonna have an extra thousand liters off here yeah there we go there's our thousand liters if it hasn't completed by this point i think we are gonna have to run that 700 liters down to the grain mill yeah it's still telling me 700 liters needs to be delivered so uh yeah we're gonna have to go and do that it is 99 percent done this contract that's ridiculous right i'm gonna run this down there and uh we'll complete the contract and then we'll go and get our thousand odd liters we've got left over and uh, i think we'll go and give it straight to the chickens so for our first contract we over delivered for our second contract we under under delivered uh the sweet spot is somewhere in the middle i think let's deliver this last little bit it's gonna take a while before it gets high enough to actually move and we even then even then we delivered slightly more than we needed to yeah 700 liters was was not what it needed it it probably needed half that by the looks of things um but that is everything done let's go back up to the field let's empty out the remaining barley and we'll go and feed it to the chickens back onto the field and under our combine and of course i've got an outstanding contract still sitting here 
so we might have to i might have to go and get that done uh but for today i think we might be finished so i'm gonna empty out this last thousand or low lead so liters and leave this here so all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching i hope you've enjoyed this video please leave a like drop us a comment and give it a share special thanks to all my patrons and channel members your support is invaluable in making these videos and helping the channel to grow for more from virtual farmer check out the links below follow on twitch to watch live and for more videos subscribe and ring that bell i will see you next time goodbye